Hi, this is Mechanicana, and welcome to my channel. Um, this is a quick Xpadder tutorial advanced um, that I've been working on for, well, I've been working on the profile for Lotro. Because um, after seeing uh, a friend of mine's, well, on the internet, uh, Kaz uh thing about uh, macros, I wondered if you could do that with uh, the Xpadder. Because I always like to play all my games on the Xpadder, so, with the Xbox controller. So, Anyway, this is uh, more advanced. So if you if you don't know uh, the basics of XPad, look at another tutorial. This is going to be a more advanced one. So what we've got here <coughs> is basically three or four extra things that well, I didn't know how to do that I now do. So what we have extra buttons here or extra things is these two here. You see it there two set and three set. So this is referring to two set here and three set. So I've got three sets of buttons on the go. You can have more. Obviously it takes up a button to have a set. So so I could have the other trigger two as a set if I wanted. So, But at the moment I'm on this one and this one. Now what this does, if you go into advanced and you set selector it sets two while held so while I'm holding that button there the trigger one it goes to the second set so when I've got it held I can number seven number nine is there a I've set to zooming in you can zoom in it's probably not working because that's up <laughs> there we go But when I'm when I'm in, uh, not pressing the button down, F4 that'll be a spell. I think I'll press it again. There we go. She's casting a spell. She's casting three or four spells actually. So I'll come on to that in a minute. I had to chain it. So anyway, all we got to do is click on that button. Go here, go set selector, set two while well held. So that's the first part, and the second one, you can set it to any button you want. Advanced, assignments, set selector, set three, select set three while well held. Okay. So that's the first part. So now we want to set up the basics. Now, obviously, with Lotro, it's a bit it's got one of these what they call drifting keys, uh, mouse key things. So to lock it in the first one, we don't want it moving around while we're in the first set because that's our main movement. So we go to the main Lotro thing and key mapping, and then <coughs> we need this pad here because this is the camera. So A and D on turn left and turn right, and then down in the camera we've got uh, pitch camera up and pitch camera down 5 and 2 so 5 and 2 so when I'm in, in game you can do this and, and you, it won't move the mouse pointer won't move okay so that's, that's important for Lotro, other games you might not have to do that you could just set it to mouse but for, for this one where we're doing the main movement I need it set like that because the mouse t tends to drift now and again and eventually it ends up off screen and then then you can't move properly so then you have to bring it back so right, the second thing when I'm pressing this one here so on number two let's get this on number two I've got it set the same as well because I don't want mouse movement on there but for number three we have mouse movement so when I click that you'll see on here it's set to a normal mouse so once I've got that pressed I can move the mouse button I'm now moving it with my, with my X-Padder so you can see the, it going green so it allows me to go over and double click on anything I want so so if I wanted to come down here and click on the mailbox. There we go. 
email. So that's how you do that. And I'm, I'm clicking. So I've got this one set here to mouse button one. You don't need any, any extra assignment. And I've got this one set to mouse button two. Okay, but that is that's on the third set. When I'm on the first set, the other thing we've got here is chained spells. This is another thing I ne really needed to get because there's so many spells <laughs> in Lotro. There's you know there's quite a lot here. You, you got ten along, well twelve along this row, and you also got oh, I've got what, another eleven there plus all the a animal stuff, trait stuff. So there's a hell of a lot of spells, and there's more coming because I'm only le what level 39, so. Um, by the time I get up to 85, I'm going to have level 85, I'm going to have loads and loads. So, it's important I found out how to do this. And it was um, Cascavale pointing me in that direction with ma uh, macros, using macros to um, chain spells. So, we do this in Xpada, so this is quite advanced now. We're going to see I've got 1, 3, 7 equals F4 and F10. That you can see the blue outline on them, that means they've got chained. They're chained, they've got chained stuff. So the way we do that is you click on number one, go to advanced. Now you can see here in the window I've got one, that's the first spell there, one and two. Chain that, they're my two staff strikes. So I've got one, then we've got add pause. So I've got, oh, um, how many is it? one second pause. So when I press the f first button there's a one second pause then the um, number two fires off and then I've got a stop sequence. You can actually make them rotate and stuff like that if you want. Add cycle stop. So to do to put one of those in so I could put three in here if I wanted to. If I just press the three button there you go, three, and then we'll put in another timer, add pause, and then add cycle stop. And you go to the pause and you can put the time up. One second, two seconds, depends how long the cycle needs to be, how long the spell takes to cast. So this is quite uh, advanced. So I'll just delete those. So that's what you do to set up a cycle button. So we'll go to advanced. See, this one's a much longer. This is three, four, five, six. So that's down the bottom here. Spell three. So I've got no target. No targets. <laughs> if I press on one, it should. There we go. So that's doing it. With, that's doing it with a mouse. So you still have mouse. You can control everything with a mouse still, even though you've got everything set on the X padder. So that is basically the main points. I hope that's fairly clear. And it's easy, you can put up sog toggles and everything, but I didn't know how to do this, this chaining thing. So you need to set time, so obviously long it gets, so the first spell is one second delay, then it fires number four, then there's a two second, what, two, t two seconds and ten milliseconds, then it fires number five, then there's three and ten, it fires number six and then it stops. Same with this one here, seven. I've got uh, four on there as well. So you're going to have to f assign it in the keys. Basically all my keys are mostly default. I've had to add in a few extras. But as you can see, I'll just bring it down so you can pause it. And see what I've got it set at. If you wanted to do it yourself. <coughs> Panels. I've got some of the panels set on here, so I can bring up my inventory and uh, companion, all the, all the management stuff, game management. Okay. So that's basically it. So each key selector, then I can set any buttons I want. Um, so let's see. So button three, if I press I, I'm not sure what I'll just come out of that. So you want me to see it. That brings up my bag. 
quest log, uh, character screen, social. So I've got all kinds set to it. Um, Uh, bring up the map by pressing 2 button. So to bring up the map I press my 2 there and then the start button. Yeah, start button. So M for map. There. So that's how that works. You're, you're holding that in all the time. Same with this one. When you want to move the mouse you hold that button in. It's going green and it moves. Oh, one more thing. Setting up the mouse. Right, this is a bit different to a normal one. Um, let me show you. No, it's not. No, we changed it. <laughs> you can, you can set it up different. No, it's not. Um, you can get a double thing going on if you want to. <coughs> so it's just set up as a basic mouse. Yeah. I had it set that. Originally, I had it set to the double, and it was causing problems. So you can set the mouse button with an arrow key. So you'd select that with the mouse button there. So you do that by putting. First, you'd select the mouse button. Let me show you. So if I change that, you select the mouse button, and then you select the arrow key. There. So now you've got that look to it. Actually that's the wrong way around. It wants to be the other way. The arrow wants to be on the top. But that is basically how you set that up to move the mouse as well. Move with a um, right button. So if you've got a game that needs the right button doing, this is how you do it. But the arrow wants to be there so you just put the arrow in. So you can put an insert in there. Delete that. Put an insert. Click on the arrow. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There we go. So that, that, that's the correct way around, the arrow on top. So if you've got a game that uses mouse right to look look around, you can do that. Okay. But at the moment we just want um, normal mouse. It is a bit buggy sometimes. That's normal. So we'll get rid of that map, hopefully. He says. Oh, that's why, because I've got it on set on selector. So make make sure when you come out, to <laughs> when you've done all that, you've got it on set one. Right. So what I'll do now is I'll um, show you how it all works. And we'll kill some enemies. So I hope you, this is a hopefully, hopefully this is a helpful video tutorial for you. Okay, thank you. So here we are, I'm just going to show you how it's, this all works. Um, first we'll buff up, so... That's my buffing up spell. So that's chaining, as you can see. And we go over to our monster. Click on the uh, start button to uh, highlight the monster. Send my pet off to attack, we're using the X button. And when he gets over there, I'll press my front bumper. Chains two spells, starts the third one up, as you can see it in the bottom, and then the sixth one, that's all the one press of the button. So then I go to my next button, my Y button, I change the first one, second one loads. He says, oh, he missed the second one. I've still got that too uh, sensitive. Well, my target's gone, that's why. <laughs> so, uh, kill a badger. This is quite a high area for me. So again, I can stun it, that's unusual. So I can run up to it and use my staff strike, that's trigger one, first one, then the second one. He's dead. Need something else. So this is basically what, what you can do. So instead of having, it gives you the possibility to have lots and lots of different button presses. Just on the one trigger. I mean, I could, I could have all ten if I wanted. So you see, you see them all chain. That's just with one press of the button. So again, one press of the button. 
I've got to get the timing right. Still need some tweaking. So you can increase or decrease the timings to make it sure everything's got time to to uh, trigger off. That's basically it. How to chain macro style. Like you do on the PC with the X pad. So I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. And uh, leave a comment if you found this helpful or if you've got any other uh, tips. That'd be great. Leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. It's Meganakine signing off before I die. Thank you.